What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Some awesome news today in the form of a couple of headlines. One, cooperating the story we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. Falcon and the Winter Soldier back on set in Prague filming. We're going to break down the new details towards the end of the video. But obviously the bigger headline today, Tom Holland reportedly in talks for a six movie MCU contract that would extend him beyond the two he signed already. And there were some more details involved in that report. We're going to break down where this is coming from, how it lines up with what we've already reported here at the channel based on industry insiders that we trust, what it would mean for Tom Holland and the rest of the MCU, especially this new sharing deal with Sony, and all of the other details included in that report. Like I said, we're going to break it all down. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, including this insane one fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now I have to admit, even though this headline and article sourced its information, and that information lines up perfectly with what we've already heard from industry insiders and been reporting on at this channel pretty much since the beginning of the re-signing of the deal between Sony and Marvel, it sort of struck me a little off guard. It's hard to think about Marvel big picture in long term right now, especially everything that's happened this year. And that point is going to be better highlighted by the fact that when we finally get SDCC in a couple of weeks this month, where we're used to a ton of huge new announcements, we may only get a couple of castings and or a trailer or two at that for some series we already know, like Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision. Either way, it's being reported that Tom Holland is now in talks with what would be Disney and Sony. Remember, he has to sign the deal with Sony as well for a six movie extension for his contract that would include Spider-Man 4 through 6, which would be the second Spider-Man trilogy. Again, we have reported on that here at the channel, as well as three other disclosed projects. Now, the report goes on to say that while there's six movies in this contract, this is not the entirety of the MCU's plans for Tom Holland. Rather, what they're hearing is that they'd like to do a full three-part trilogy with Tom Holland, one in college, after this, finishing the one in high school, and then one of him as an adult. But the contract for this six movies only include the next Spider-Man trilogy and three other ancillary films, you get it, Avengers films, other crossovers he has to show up in. This means this extension does not include the three for the trilogy they'd like to do with him as an adult, but there's probably a good reason for that. We're going to get to that in just a second. We're going to talk about first how this lines up with A, what we've been reporting on at the channel, B, where this came from, and what this really means. Now, since the beginning, Mikey Sutton has stood by the fact that MCU is keeping Spider-Man in the MCU. No matter what Sony's trying to do with their Venomverse and Morbius, whether Tom Holland will ever cross over and show up in that universe, awesome. It's actually Sony's hope that they can do an Into the Spider-Verse. But in the meantime, Marvel, Disney, and the MCU plan on keeping Tom Holland's Peter Parker squarely in their universe. And as it's been reported, Sony kind of agrees. Guys, it's a lot of money for both companies, especially in light of the changes that the movie industry has seen in the last six months. Now, included with that report from Mikey Sutton was that eventually Sony might end up getting sold, in which case the rights for Peter Parker would bounce back to Marvel anyway. And that's where you have to think the length of this contract sort of comes into play. Yeah, they've extended people's contracts and signed contracts for a lot longer than six movies. I believe it was reported that Sebastian Stan's initial contract was something between nine and 12 films. If that's true, they could have done that for Tom Holland's Peter Parker, but why? Why sign a contract with someone when you know you might get the rights back anyway? And at least for now, six movies would definitely put him out for the rest of the decade, even if they're releasing a Spider-Man movie every other year, which has been thrown off track again by everything that's already happened this year. Now, thinking big picture about Marvel, Sony and what's going on with their Venomverse and what's going on with Peter Parker, the argument for the Sinister Six has all but been made at this point, and it definitely looks like Marvel in one way or another is leading towards that. But guys, if they're keeping Peter Parker in the MCU, the good news is that the Sinister Six will be in the MCU as well. While it's definitely Sony's hope, that their adjacent universe can be seen as part of the MCU. I think the biggest players and the biggest storylines and obviously the biggest narratives like the Sinister Six would have to play out where Tom Holland's at home which means again big picture something like Venom and Morbius if they make it onto the team actually showing up in the MCU and that's where I sort of smile and look back through my channel. You can see we were reporting on that all the way back in literally 
February of last year, months before Avengers Endgame came out, that Sony's ultimate goal was to get Venom to cross back over into the MCU. And the way that things are shaping up right now, that's exactly what would happen. Those characters showing back up in the MCU to be adjacent to the Sinister Six or whatever plays out for Tom Holland, that was also corroborated by stories coming out of the Morbius camp when Tyrese, who does have a role in the film as the FBI agent that's hunting Michael Morbius, said that his contract included appearances in the MCU, or rather that this was just in the MCU altogether. And while we reported on that and sort of laughed at the time and said, what would Tyrese know? He would certainly know the details that are in his own contract, and just because some of these actors don't know the difference between what's a mutant and what's not, here's looking at you, Scarlett Johansson. Some of these others are really up on the particulars because they're fans as well, and as we argued at the time, this is not a small detail. In fact, if you knew anything at all, one of the first questions you would ask about being in a Marvel movie is, hey, is this in the MCU or what Sony has going on that they've now named the SUMC? Either way, it does line up with everything we've heard, and this is an awesome report considering it hasn't been made final yet. We would love to keep Peter Parker in the MCU, at least for another six movies, making good on the whole idea that he would take up the role and reigns after Iron Man has left as sort of the leader and the tech guy, which has been reported as well, but we'll just have to wait and see when that finally comes to fruition. Now, I told you there was an update on the Falcon in the Winter Soldier filming. That's something we've been up to date with for the last couple of weeks. This coming from at Discussing film in a tweet late last night Disney Plus the Falcon in the Winter Soldier series is currently preparing and planning to resume filming for nine days in the Czech Republic this fall which means they won't be back on set in July as we had originally heard and even though the Czech Republic had in fact lifted the ban on US travel that's what we reported yesterday so that the cast and the crew could get in to finish in places in Europe they need to. It looks like they're at least waiting to the fall. Now there's some good news here and there's some bad news here. The bad news is, is if they're waiting to the fall to finish their reshoots, they're not going to have that series finished anywhere near when they're supposed to release it. And honestly, depending on what quote unquote fall means, that means we might not get that series before Black Widow in November. The good news is that filming will only be on location for nine days. And guys, if you know anything about filming and shooting nine days, is super short. Nine days is what it would take to film a couple of scenes and if that's all they've got left, as we've heard from a couple of people and actors included, if that's all they've got left, then that is super good news, which means they can probably knock out the project as soon as they're on set very quickly, meaning the turnaround time if most of the editing is done may be low and there's a chance We'll get Falcon in the Winter Soldier maybe right before Black Widow, as that's not due to come out in November. Maybe if they get back on set by August, they could have this out in September or October. That is wishful thinking at best, but at least the needle is still moving a little bit for all of these stories, and they are going to be back on set and filming. Even though Katherine Hahn had said they'd be back on set next month, that may be because they need to film in Atlanta. That's much easier to access than trying to fly overseas, especially again with everything that's been going on. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below this update about Falcon and the Winter Soldier surely but also what's going on with Spider-Man it's definitely amazing news to hear that he'll be staying in the MCU at least through another trilogy and if you think about it with two movies left on his contract and six more that's eight more films for Tom Holland Spider-Man let me know how hype you are down in the comments and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark a lot of you have asked of course we will switch over to the PlayStation 5 once they come out but seeing as that's not until way later in the year and with all the delays for technology and or with pre-order numbers the way they are we're not going to give away PlayStation 5s until we have them in hand in the meantime we'll stick with the four pros we're giving away the next one at 700,000 subscribers if you want to be entered to win all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on leave a like and a comment on this video and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel like this limited edition X XM Studios 1 4th scale Beta Ray Bill statue. Now, if you're not familiar with collectibles like this, this is in no way an action figure. At almost 30 inches tall, these are 3 feet. They are immaculately sculpted, beautiful representations of all of your favorite Marvel characters. This one is no different. This one ships from overseas. We've got one in hand. There was a review of this done on Gem Mint's channel. We got this one from Gem Mint Collectibles Store. Either way, if you want to be entered to win the PlayStation 4 Pros, this Beta Ray Bill, or any of the future prizes we come up with here at the channel as we double down all the way up to a million over the next couple of years all the same rules will always apply 
hit the subscribe button, notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the video, the way that we're doing right now, and if you've missed any of those previous winner announcements, no worries, there's been a ton this year already. All you have to do, scroll back through the channel, look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title, click on that video, and scroll to the end. My name's Michael Roman. This is everything always, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.